1. Avoid chemicals. Like other amphibians, toads and frogs breathe, completely or partially, and drink through their skin. If you use pesticides, herbicides or fungicides or any other chemicals for pest control your garden, they cannot survive. 2. Provide shelter. Almost all frogs and toads are nocturnal, which means they venture mostly in the night. They live near water bodies and avoid direct contact with the sun, especially when the weather is really warm to save themselves from dehydration. 3. Small water bodies. Toads and frogs both are amphibians, which imply they do not drink water but absorb moisture through their skin. Also, they lay their eggs in water. That is why they love to reside near the moist places. 4. Selection of plants. You should hand-pick plants with care for plotting nearby the frog habitat. Many plants are poisonous to frogs and toads. If you have a flower garden, avoid planting oleander, honeysuckle, azalea, daffodils, hyacinth nearby the shelter. 5. Trimming garden grass. Keep in mind that it is likely that frogs and toads will be lazing around in your lawn if you do not trim the garden grass regularly. It will be a mortal danger to them as their lives would be at risk while mowing if they are lurking in the grass. 6. Hazards from pets and children. Children are always curious about their surroundings. They may wreck the shelter for toads and frogs. Also, if you own pets, they might treat them as their chasing toys and even like to have them for their dessert. It will not only be a danger to your amphibian friends but can also endanger your pets. 7. Compost and leaves litter. Keep in mind that even if frogs and toads reside in your garden, their population can reduce drastically if you do not provide a proper food source. One easy way to do that is by keeping a compost heap ready. 8. Measures for winters. Frogs and toads are cold-blooded amphibians and hibernate in winters. If you live in a cold climate, take special care. During the period of their hibernation try to provide suitable hibernating shelters, 